that a lot of these are um, job postings, not actual people. What job by source does is takes your keywords and then actually uses a proprietary algorithm to actually find people and profiles on the open web and various sources and present you with people rather than the noise that you normally would have to go through if you use one of the main web search engines. In addition, we've taken this one step further where you can not only search by keyword, but you can search by job. Let's pick the online marketing job that I've been sourcing for today. And what you'll notice here is that we've automatically extracted from the job description keywords from that job to perform a search for you and actually score recommendations for you on people that we found on the open web and social networks who should be of interest to you for this position. We not only do keyword type searching, but we also look at um, different things within the job description as well as the profile. For instance, if it's a marketing manager position, um, you're typically looking for somebody with five or six years of experience. So our algorithm is smart enough to, to understand that um, people with five years experience are more relevant and should rank higher than people with 10 years experience or people with one or two years of experience. And that's just one example of the, the proprietary things that we do in our matching algorithm. And let's find out um, and look at uh, somebody who might be of interest to you. You can easily click on view more info or their name. And that brings up a new window that shows you uh, the source page where we found this person. In this case, on Blackto. Um, you can see the email, the phone number, the address, as well as some of the work experience and education here. If this person was of interest to you, you can add them to a campaign. Um, and what that does is not only add them to a campaign, which I'll demonstrate in a moment, but it also um, puts them into the recruiting uh, contact management system that we have. So let me demonstrate that for you. The recruiting CRM is a place that you can house all of the people that you source on the open web, as I just demonstrated. But you can also upload um, your own address books, um, as well as any sort of talent network that you may have in any other system. In addition, you can also upload your employees. So this becomes a robust place where you can house all of your contact information for people who might be of interest for jobs that you're sourcing for. We also allow full searching within the recruiting CRM as well. So in this case, online marketing. Let me see who I have. And here's Hillary, who I just saw in the open web search. And what you can see here is all the information that we automatically parsed from that public profile and put within the recruiting CRM. So both her position, location, her email address, as well as um, the profile of where we found her. And you can see that we've already added her to a campaign, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. One more thing I'd like to highlight is the social profile, which is over here on the right hand side. What this does is actually goes out and since we have information on Hillary, it scours the open web and social networks to find out more information about her and brings it right into the recruiting CRM to make sure um, that you can find out easily uh, more information about her. So in this case, on Facebook, it's showing some of her friends, and you can easily look to see maybe she's connected to some people who might also be of interest for the position you're looking for. You can also look at her LinkedIn friends and connections, as well as on Twitter, you can see her connections, as well as her social feed and what she's been tweeting of late. In addition, you can look and see on the web various other profiles for Hillary. So if she's got a MySpace profile, in this case, friends or Flickr, as well as some um, uh, other articles that she's been mentioned in or has been part of since she's a marketing uh, person. You can also add to do this um, for her if you want to follow up um, or coordinate across multiple recruiters. You can 
your sourcing for them. Um, and set it up, um, assign different recruiters to it, uh, as well as start an index. You can also adjust the keywords here that you think are relevant to the position that you're looking for and share comments across multiple recruiters about the, the campaign that you are running. You can also customize the various templates on how you communicate with people for a position. So email, you obviously have a lot more room that you can write a longer message for. Um, Facebook is a little bit more limited. Twitter, obviously, is, is very limited in the space that you have. And your message to employees about this position might be a little bit different that you would want to customize. Once you have the campaign set up, you would then want to send a message around that campaign. So what you can see here in the top panel is people that have sourced for this campaign um, via the open web or through my recruiting CRM. And what you can see here is that there's multiple ways I can actually contact people. So in this case, for seven people, I can job ID email, five that I found on LinkedIn, and can actually job ID LinkedIn, two on Twitter. And there's a couple where I actually don't have contact info, so I can easily create a to-do to find out their contact info and follow up with them later. So then I can pick the people I want to send a job ID to and easily send a job ID. And similar to what I showed you early in the presentation, this is what they would get in this case, the SNSD email. So this is what Jeff got in an email, and he can click through to learn more about this online marketing manager position. And either apply himself or look for people in his network that might be a good fit. And once I've contacted people on Job Eye, they come down to this panel here, and you can see who's opened the Job Eye. Um, as well as different contact channels for different folks. You can see there's a few here on Twitter, some on LinkedIn. Um, and this gives you some indication of if somebody's opened it, I probably don't want to send them another job site. Right? But in this case, you know, maybe Chris, he didn't open it yet, maybe I'll send him a reminder or send him a follow up job site within a couple of days. If I want to find out more about how a campaign is running, I'll click on the results tab. And this is where you can look at five days. How many job ideas have been sent for this campaign? How many people have actually opened their job ideas? And click through um, an open rate to find out more information about that. Also, who has forwarded it? And then also, how many people have applied? You can also look at results by source. So this is the source of where the person was and how you found them. So in this case, there's two sources. One that was an import of contact. And then also a couple were inputted by the recruiter in this case. But if you would have set a source by the um, open web or LinkedIn, that would have shown up here as well. So again, you can track very easily what source 